Fred Thompson here. Yeah, Senator, you have a new movie. This is very exciting stuff. It's called Persecuted. Tell us all about it. Well, it is a movie that combines some very substantive stuff concerning freedoms, First Amendment freedoms, separation of church and state, the powers of the government with regard to the church, uh, and a very dramatic thriller. And uh, we have uh, the, the, the lead in the movie is uh, uh, a Christian minister uh, who receives a lot of pressure. He doesn't go along with the, with the governmental program and uh, he gets persecuted. So uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a nail biter and uh, very interested. I play a priest uh, in, the, uh, in the movie who's the father of the hero and uh, very happy to be a part of it. Awesome. All right. And as the director of the movie, um, what do you want audiences to know about this? Well, I think persecuted is a, relevant to anyone who, who cares about our First Amendment rights, anyone who cares about religious freedom, because it's about a nationally acclaimed evangelist who stands against religious reform, fictional religious reform. And ultimately what happens to him, he's framed for murder, he's hunted. So anyone who cares about, like House of Cards, The Fugitive, North by Northwest, or any kind of conspiracy, I think we'll get into this because as Fred said, you know, it's a, it's a man hunted for what he believes and he has the choice to whether to stand up. I recently viewed this film with a prominent religious figure and what he said when he came out of it, he says, I hope I'm that man who would be willing to stand up for what he believes. Like our ability to have this conversation right now could be jeopardized by what in this movie is portrayed as the Faith and Fairness Act, which would require everyone to give equal treatment to all faiths in the interest of national security. And this guy fights for that. So I think it, it, it plays on you know all the things that people are interested in right now. But at the end of the day, it's a political thriller that I think people who have watched it are just shocked by the quality. And I hope you get to see it. I, I hope so too. Absolutely. I'll plan on it. Uh